Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Angus and today we are going to watch The Room for the very first time. So, The Room. And it is once again time for another movie reaction here on this channel and today I'm going to watch it. The best worst movie ever made, the meme, the myth, the legend, the masterpiece made by Mr. Tommy Wiseau. It is The Room from 2003. And of course I know the big memes, I know you're tearing me apart Lisa, I know oh hi Mark, but I mean everybody knows these scenes. What I'm interested in is of course the rest of the movie and from what I've been told, the rest is just as hilariously bad as you would imagine and as the other scenes. And I can't really imagine. One and a half hours of, you know, much of the same basically. Is it even possible that this can be as bad as these scenes? As gloriously bad as these scenes? I don't know. I really hope so because this will be um, such a good laugh, really. It is an art form for me personally to make good bad movies you know or make movies that are so bad that they are good you know and from what i've seen from the room up until now it's definitely this it is so bad and so uninspired really <laughs> that it is just great it's just great to watch because it is so much good fun it is funnier than 99 percent of other movies that claim to be comedies you know and are made for the sole purpose of making you laugh and make money of course so i am really really excited to finally get to watch the whole thing and yeah i mean tommy wiseau a legend definitely what i've seen from him in interviews and uh so and so on he if i'm not mistaken yeah he had the leading role he did write the script he was the director and uh yeah he produced the movie so um yeah what can go wrong I guess a lot. And if I'm done with The Room, I will probably also watch The Disaster Artist somewhere down the line because, you know, it just fits. And I guess it will also be great. And uh, yeah, I mean, what more can I say? Basically nothing. And therefore, I would say let's just jump right into the movie. Have fun. Wow, you look so sexy, Lisa. <laughs> Ah, so this is the infamous Isn't Lisa. It fabulous? I would do anything for my girl. Bruh, did they adlib all of this? Nice to see you, Danny. I'm going to take a nap. Can I go upstairs too? <laughs> Danny, I think I'm gonna join him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but they, did they really adlib everything? It seems so, at least in his case. <laughs> So is he supposed to be <laughs> the son? Do you have something else to do? I just like to watch you guys. Oh, Danny, Danny, okay. Danny boy. <laughs> Only slightly creepy. <laughs> I get it. You guys want to be alone. That's what? The idea. Oh, how did you get that idea? <laughs> this even sounds like at lip porn if he wanted to go for this then he succeeded hmm well let's see if the rest of the movie is also used this nicely you know the scenes with meaning in there <laughs> oh god this is so so bad so up until now a bad softcore porn. And I can't stress bad enough. Nothing much. Do you want some coffee? What's wrong? Tell me. I'm not feeling good today. Well, why not? I don't love him anymore. <gasps> Shocking revelation. He supports you. He provides for you. And darling, you can't support yourself. <laughs> you are useless without him. You know? And he's getting a promotion very soon. Thanks, Mom. Now he bought you a car, he bought you a ring, clothes, whatever you wanted. Now you want to dump him. That's not right. <laughs> That's not right. Man, who cares about love anyway? <laughs> Maybe you're right. Can I see you tomorrow? Okay. 
All right, how about noon? I'll be waiting for you. Bye. All right, see ya. Mm hmm. I love the emotions pouring out of these people. You can hear it in the acting. But now things are getting interesting. So she's in love with Mark. You know, we have to get a grip on the story here. That is important, I feel. Maybe. I mean, the candles, the music, the sexy dress. I mean, what's going on here? <laughs> what's going on? Man, I don't know what this is all about, man. I, I can't imagine what's going to happen next. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, Mark is a stupid one. I don't think so. <laughs> I, uh, I'm leaving now. Please Goodbye. Don't leave. Please don't leave. I need you. I love you. I don't want to get married anymore. Mm -hmm. That escalated very quickly. Oh shit! What the hell is going on here? What? Did you see? Uh, did you see that? That camera was fucked up. I mean, it would be forgiven to th uh, think at this point that this is actually only, you know, a softcore porn movie because the acting is just on par. Maybe a little bit worse even. So, <laughs> hmm. And of course, the ad-libbing. You're very attractive, alright? You're beautiful. But we can't do this anymore. It's too expensive, all the camera cuts, you know? Yeah, can I have a dozen red roses, please? Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. Oh, yes. Oh, I didn't go. see you. You know, That's your me. black, long hair. How much is it? It'll be $18. Just go. Couldn't Keep see the change. it. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs> what the fuck? What is, the what is this scene? No, we don't have time for the flower shop scene. We have to go through this, you know? We have to mo make more time for the, for the sex scenes. Come on. <laughs> Holy crap. All these emotions also, once again. Oh my god. I just want to talk to Johnny. So, uh, you look beautiful. Today. I don't know exactly who Can is I he. Can I kiss you? You are such a little brat. I'm just kidding. I love you and Johnny. Okay, who okay. Johnny's Is he? Is he Johnny's son? Is he just, you know, I don't know. Is he not family? Is he just, you know, friend? Because I don't understand how these relationships work here exactly. Maybe it's because nothing is explained really. <laughs> Son of a bitch told me that I would get it within three months. I saved them bundles. They're crazy. I don't think I will ever get it. <laughs> they betrayed me. They didn't keep their promise. They tricked me and I don't care anymore. Well, I can't believe it. I am so angry. I have no way of expressing my emotions because my face is basically just like this. I already ordered a pizza. <laughs> you think about everything. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> you alright? It's just a lousy promotion. You know what you need? Expressions. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. Is it really... Did Tommy Wiseau really think this is a good movie? Did he really think his performance there is good? Did he really think all of this is any good? Or did he know that it was crap? And that he made a trash movie? I don't know. <laughs> okay, another sex scene? Mm. Mm. With funky music? Mm. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> Nobody wants to help me, and I'm dying. You're not dying, Mom. <laughs> well, shit, can't do I anything the about that. The test Bummer. Hmm. I definitely have breast cancer. <laughs> Emotions. This is right. You know, just, oh, I have breast cancer. Can't do anything about this. Hmm, well, hmm. Ah. He didn't get his promotion. And he got drunk last night. And he hit me. Oh, no, Lisa. You evil woman. Who are they now? No, come on, not another one. <laughs> Who are these people anyway? Chocolate is a symbol of love. 
Mhm. This scene is not. Mom, this is Michelle's boyfriend, Mike. Mike. Okay, this so. This is my mother. Michelle and Mike. Nice uh, to know to about this. Mm. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> okay. Johnny wanted to adopt Denny. When Denny turned 18, Johnny found him a little apartment here in this building and he's paying for it until he graduates from. Oh, okay. So that makes more sense now. I told you, Mom, Johnny is very caring about the people in his life. And he gave Denny his own set of keys to our place. Okay, but isn't your ploy to, you know, denounce Johnny right now? Oh no, action scene, come on! <laughs> Where did they come from? Let's take him to the police! <laughs> Let's take him to the police. Okay. It doesn't matter. How in the hell did you get involved with drugs? Uh, what were you giving them to him? Selling them to him? Where in the hell did you meet that man? What kind of drugs do you take? It's nothing like that. What the hell is wrong with you? The directing in this scene is impeccable, I have to say. Tommy Wiseau knows how to, you know, orchestrate a scene. What's okay. okay? He's taking drugs. Come on, stop. It was a mistake. A mistake. Then he takes drugs. Let's go home. Aren't you home? Why did you do this? You know better, right? I'm so Why? I'm sorry. <laughs> you know better, Daddy. You almost got killed. And if I had emotions and could cry, I would. But I can't. Oh, holy crap. I have to go now. I'll see you later, darling. Mm -hmm. Don't call me that. Okay, bye. Well. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. <laughs> I did not hit her. I did not. Great. Oh, hi, Mark. That transition. But of course, this is the famous scene. People are very strange these days. I used to know a girl. She had a dozen guys. One of them found out about it, beat her up so bad, she ended up in a hospital on Guerrero Street. <laughs> what a story, Mark. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That is really a story I can laugh about, you know? Maybe he has only a sick sense of humor. That's too bad. My Lisa is great when I can get it. Oh man, I just can't figure women out. Sometimes they're just too smart. Sometimes they're flat out stupid. Uh huh. Of course, Mark is one of the more clever ones. Uh huh. You now this whole flip flopping around, you know, one emotion, next emotion, mood, 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 mood. Well, we'll see. Danny, don't play too much. It may not come out right. All right, let's toss the ball around. Okay. <laughs> Let's toss the ball around. Things nobody ever said. Maybe he need remind needed to be reminded about that. You know what we are doing now? Oh yeah, we're tossing the ball around. If a lot of people love each other, the world would be a better place to live. Lisa's your future wife. Danny, don't worry about it. You are part of our family, and we love you very much. Mm -hmm. We will help you anytime. What I ask myself is, would this be any good if? Capable actors would, you know, would be in this. You know, just re imagine, put some people like Leonardo DiCaprio in this, you know, maybe Kate Blanchett as Lisa and, you know, top caliber actors and actresses. Would this be any good or would it be just as crappy? I don't know. And keep in mind, if you have any problems, talk to me and I will help you. Awesome. Thanks, Johnny. Let's go eat, huh? Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go eat, huh? And he hit me. He hit you? He didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> he hit you? Oh, well, shit happens. Your secret is safe with me. Hello, Michelle. I hurt you. What secret? <laughs> oh, we did not see you come in. Women change their minds all the time. <laughs> you must be kidding, aren't you? Look, uh -huh. I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to go upstairs oh and wash God. up and go to bed. How dare you? It is in the middle of the day. Why are you going to bed? I could not go on without you, Lisa. You're scaring me. You're yeah. lying. I nearly yeah, hit you. Yeah, you're scaring me too you're because... You're tearing me apart, Lisa. There it is. Why are you so <laughs> hysterical? He's not even the least hysterical. Look at his face. Don't worry about it. Everything will be all right. <laughs> you drive me crazy. Yep. 
He looked the way. Good night, Johnny. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I still love you. <laughs> Good night, Lisa. Oh God. It is like a robot where you just, you know, say, okay, emotions. Then just, you know, the voice changes a little bit, but nothing in the face. And then about halfway down the stairs, I realized that I, I have misplaced. I, uh, I've forgotten something. Mm -hmm. uh, my underwear. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I come back to get it, you know, yeah. and I pretend that I need a book. You know, uh -huh, I'm like looking uh -huh. for my... Where are you going with this? She oh. pulls it out mm -hmm. and she's uh, showing everybody me underwears. Everybody. Lisa and her. Well, that was a shitty story with no payoff at all. <laughs> oh, hey, Jenny, what's hey, up? What's up? What the fuck is this scene? Underwear. Dude, it's, <laughs> uh, underwear. It's, it's embarrassing, man. I don't want to get into it. Underwear, man. man come on. <laughs> what the oh, fuck okay. did you do there? Are you okay? There? Yeah, I'm Are you fine. Okay? Sure. Uh huh. Right. Bam. Uh, see doctor. No, no, no. <laughs> he assaulted him because of underwear. <laughs> But Johnny is part of our family. Not um, any longer. I don't love Johnny anymore. Oh, I don't even like him. Uh. Sex with someone else. You can't be serious. You don't understand. <laughs> Nobody saw him there. Nobody. He's just like a ninja. Coming to the party. Sure. I suppose so. Why did they even come in there in the first place? They did nothing and then went. If you want to, you should confront her. I can't confront her. I want to give her a second chance. After all, she's my future wife. You know what they say. Are you sure Love about that? Is blind. Uh huh. So is your sense of directing. I have a girl. She's married. I mean, she's very attractive. It's just, it's driving me crazy. Why didn't you mention this before? That's I mean, a blatant lie. She's not married. Get this straight. Peter, you always play psychologist with us. Lisa's teasing me about whether we are going to get married or not. And we didn't make love in a while. And I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm worried we, we didn't have, you know, sex scene in about, I don't know, 20 minutes. What? It's going on. That's not my room anymore. No, I'm not doing it this year. <laughs> chicken, Peter, you just a little chicken. <laughs> chip, 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 chip. Who are you calling a chicken? I just sure. don't like all the weirdos. There's. Holy crap! I mean, just you know the fact that he, you know, he's the director, the writer, and you know the lead actor, <laughs> and nobody checked on this, and the producer, of course. Yeah, so nobody could tell him otherwise. <laughs> I didn't mean to chase you off. We should stick around for a while. I gotta work early. Mm hmm. See ya. <laughs> it is bright daylight out of there. Why do you have to go to sleep now? I think you know everything. You don't know shit. Wait a second. Who do you think you are? You're acting like a kid. Just grow up. Man, we call a kid? Come on, action scene. Well, just brawl, guys, brawl. You're having an affair with Lisa, aren't you? <gasps> Am I wrong? What? Holy shit! What are you? Oh nuts? man, that is action-packed cinema here. Sorry, I tried to kill you. Nothing personal. <laughs> well, you're right. It's Lisa. I don't know what to do, man. Become a better actor and choose different movies. Hey Peter, come on in. Oh, hey, hey Peter. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious, how many people will be there at this party? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Mm. Hey guys. No, he shaved? Okay, now Lisa won't love him anymore. Ask Peter. Come on, Peter. No, I don't think so. Please. No. Come on. Oh, the actor of Mark looks so looked so uncomfortably awkward there. <laughs> like he didn't know what to do. <laughs> Mark, go. Go, go. Deep. <laughs> no. See hey, Peter, you're no. clumsy. <sighs> no. That's it, I'm done. What the fuck? Great idea, Jenny. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? I've seen many slapstick comedy movies in my time, but this just is something else. You're great. Sure. I'm gonna get a slice of cheesecake and a bottle of water. 
Uh, what the fuck? Eh? What the hell? Why did they not wear... Why did they wear the, the suits, tuxedos? And now they aren't? What is going on exactly? I thought, you know, this was the day of the party they are having, but... Mm, this doesn't seem to be the case. Or maybe they just got it all... You know... They fumbled all the scenes somehow? What client? I cannot tell you, it's confidential. Oh, come on, why not? No, I can't. Anyway, how is your sex life? Oh, anyway, that is a nice change of pace you're doing here, man. The conversation became boring. Already? Yeah, I'm sorry. Alright, it's on me. Yeah, see you. Um, see so you, Mark. Really good but what the yeah, hell? Sure. Now we won't what know time? about the sex We're life. How can I live without that? But yeah. I don't know what this one scene was all about, you know, when they are all wearing tuxedos. I like you very much, Mark. Oh, come on, Johnny's my best friend. Just one more time. Is that the replay scene of the first time they had sex? What the hell? I don't know, I, what I like about Mark is that he has such a strong will, you know. Yet he has his, you know, his point of view and he never changes it. But you know, finally a sex scene again, I was worried. Yo, sex scene. And it's every time just amazing how awkward all of this is. Basically everything. Especially these scenes. <laughs> Everything's changed. I need more from life than what Johnny can give me. <laughs> Suddenly my eyes are wide open and I can see everything so clearly. I want it all. And I want it now. And I heard Queen before. Yeah, but we're not talking about me, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Are you trying to ruin my party? <laughs> fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Holy crap. I mean, I can't stress this enough. Did Tommy Wiseau really think this was, this was good? This was a decent enough. Bye, Lisa. Eh? So this is still the same day of the party? Where is he going? I thought... What about the fucking party? I haven't been happy since I married my first husband. <laughs> I didn't even want to marry your father. You never told me that. Oh, that changes everything. What the fuck? I have no idea where this is going exactly, you know? Oh, look at this. Finally, it's not broad daylight. Surprise! <laughs> All right, okay, so this is the party, yeah? Happy mm -hmm. birthday to you. Hi. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Uh, oh, God. Don't you see how much we love you? We even invited four people we never saw before. Great. <sighs> yeah, okay. Cool. Just as emotional as I thought it would be. Why is Peter not there? That is the big question. Isn't he a friend of his? I mean, he should be there, but okay. Hey, everybody, let's go outside for some fresh air. Mike, are you literally a six-year-old? What's that what uh, Tommy Wiseau told you? You're a six-year-old in the body of a 25-year-old. Because if that was what you should be doing, this is exactly what you're doing. You plan this all along. <laughs> yeah, master plan, really. What's going on here? <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Emotions boiling over. Hey, everybody. I have an announcement to make. We're expecting. <laughs> expecting what exactly? Expecting a promotion, maybe. <laughs> expecting a breakup soon. When is the baby due? There is no baby. <gasps> oh, she lied. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why, when, what? What's it to you? This is going to pull us all down. 
It's gonna shake up our group of friends. Uh huh. It's gonna destroy our friendship. We never Lisa. saw you before. Who are you? What are you doing? What are you to Johnny? I don't understand this either. Alright! Okay, <laughs> folks, everything is fine. Fight this over, folks. I'm sorry, Mark. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay, nice. What is this all? Oh my god, what is this all about? <laughs> I just wish for one coherent scene, really. <laughs> and now this, what did they talk about? Or did they not talk about anything? What is going on? Leave her alone, man. She doesn't want to talk to you. Since when do you give me orders? Has Lisa changed her mind about now you? Now this again. Oh, Wake what? up, man. What plan Why? do you want? Did they do two versions and just put both in? What is going on? Don't touch me, motherfucker. Get out. <laughs> motherfucker. Stop it. Stop it. I mean, it really... You two are acting like children. It's really t twice? It's basically the same scene twice, just diff slightly different. What? You tried. You betrayed me. You're not good. You, you're just a chicken. Chip, 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 chip. <laughs> oh, no. You did not say that. Is he Marty McFly or what? It's not over. Everybody betrayed me. I fed up with this world. <laughs> I'm going to hang myself, man. Well, I guess the party's over. Go home now. I am angry. What is the end game here? Cleaned up the kitchen, sweetheart, so you don't have to worry about that. We don't even know if there is a kitchen. We never saw it. Give me a proof. You can come out now, Johnny. She's gone. In a few minutes, bitch. <laughs> Who are you calling a what? bitch? In a few minutes, you bitch. You and your stupid mother. <laughs> Man, he is really upset there. And all these emotions pouring out of him. <laughs> what was this? What's going on? It was the most expression. Don't worry about Johnny. The biggest ex expression he had on the movie. I treat you like a princess. And you stabbed me in the back. I love you and I did anything for you to just please you. And now you betray me. How could you love it? <laughs> I envy his ability to scream, to do basically everything without any real expression on his face. It's just like, you know, a clay mask. Get out, get out, get out of my life! Oh yeah, and right, it's of course daylight. Once again. <laughs> so he was in the bathroom for about... Seven, eight hours, I guess? <laughs> ah, the emotions! No, not the TV! Oh no, that's expensive. Oh, what a tragic ending to a beautiful story. Or is it the end? Ah, big massive creep. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you having a seizure, Johnny? God, forgive me. Everything will be all right. Good night, Johnny. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Cool. <laughs> what a ride. Diddy, he's in a better place. <laughs> leave us! Everybody should leave. Just leave! <laughs> Both of you! Leave him, all right? Let him be with him. <laughs> Why, Johnny? Uh, it's a long story about bad acting, bad directing, bad writing, and overall confusing messes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say this is his best acting in this movie when he's playing dad. Okay. And that, that's that. I'm stunned. They did not even give these four people names. Party member one, two, three, and four. Great. 
All right, so this was the one, the only, The Room. And I have to say it was just as gloriously bad as I thought it would be and as people told me it would be. Because, I mean, everything in this, everything in this from the acting to the writing to the directing to the mood swings to the scenes itself and, uh, I, I, you know, everything in there was just another level of trash but great trash i have to say because there's basically no scene in there that you can watch without smiling laughing thinking what the fuck is going on everything in there is just so absurd so senseless also <laughs> you know for example this one scene where they were all in tuxedos you know uh, johnny mark peter and danny and i thought okay this must be you know the party or the party will start in a few hours um you know they mentioned the party the birthday party and i thought this was it but no they just went outside and played a little bit with a football this football you know all the time they just throw in the football and peter fell down and that's that and next scene is they're in this diner mark and johnny and they did not wear the tuxedos anymore so why exactly then at the party when um, Mark and Johnny had this first fallout, you know, um, and then they shook hands and everything was cool again. And then directly the next scene is basically just this scene, only slightly altered, you know. And this time they uh, he goes completely crazy. And, you know, all of this, all of this, then definitely, you know, the acting by Tommy Wiseau. I have no idea if he really thought this was good acting. Uh, as a whole, I have no idea if he really thought this movie, this was really a good movie. Uh, if the if that what he did there, what he wrote, what he directed, what he acted was good, what the people acted was good, or if he, you know, just had a laugh about all of this. I have no idea. I have to find out more about this. But, you know, his acting, above all, it is really amazing how little his face really does anything or expresses anything when he tries to act it is really really astonishing you know because no matter what he did it really was nothing there was nothing there um yeah and i said it i have no idea it would be really really amazing to see if you really could salvage this movie if you can make a good or a much better movie out of this if you have a better director and better actors if you can make a good movie out of this with the same script because everything in there is bad really bad extremely bad but if you only take the script which is the i don't know if it's the main problem but one of the biggest problems definitely you know put someone like steven spielberg in there or scorsese or whatever you know someone like this and then put really good actors in there would this make for a good movie i don't know if i had the money i would definitely try this but you know i don't have the money so i have to hope for uh, somebody else to do this but i definitely had a laugh out of this this was um yes definitely an experience i wouldn't want to miss and i'm definitely going to watch the disaster artist because um no matter what's in this it's just going to be fun i know it and maybe we get to know or I get to know a little bit more about, you know, the background of all of this. You know, of course, I don't believe that it's going to be some kind of documentary style thing or, you know, that everything in there is going to be 100% accurate. But maybe, maybe there are going to be some interesting facts um, on the background of all of this. But yeah, that was my reaction to the great meme, The Room. I hope you liked it, of course. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, you know, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Also, if you like, follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. And uh, yeah, apart from that, I can only say have a nice day, stay safe, and I see you in the next video.